Today we're going to solve systems of equations with three variables and three unknowns using GeoGebra. Specifically, we're going to put the system of equations into a matrix, and it will be an augmented matrix, and then from there we'll have GeoGebra do the RREF for us. So here's where we'll start. I have a system of three equations and three unknowns, x, y, z, and the equations say x plus y plus z equals 11, x minus y minus z equals negative 1, and then 2x plus y minus 4z equals 6. To start, we need to go to GeoGebra. You can see I still have the equations showing on the right side of the screen, and we're going to enter them as a matrix into GeoGebra. So I'm going to call this matrix A, and it's important to name the matrix so that we don't have to repeat the input again. We put the bracket in, and that shows it that we are putting in a list, and this particular list is a list of rows. So I need another bracket to show this is our first row, and we put in the coefficient. So I put in 1, 1, 1, 11. So that shows 1x plus 1y plus 1z equals 11. Then I go outside the brackets and I put a comma. Then we'll do another set of brackets. So for x minus y minus z equals negative 1, I have 1, comma, negative 1, comma, negative 1, and then negative 1. For our last row, another set of brackets, 2, 1, negative 4, 6, that represents 2x plus y minus 4z is 6. Okay. So we have all of our information in, and you can see it already has closed the bracket. When I push enter, it turns it into a matrix, so I can see the coefficients of my equations along with the answers all put into A. Now, we want to have reduced row echelon form, so I'm going to start typing reduced. Right? And see, once I got an REDU, it popped up, reduced row echelon form, so I'm going to push enter. And it brought in the whole phrase there, and then instead of matrix, I want to tell it A. So that's why it was important for us to name our matrix, that way it knows to bring in that matrix we just did. You can see a little bit of typing underneath, but let's go ahead and just push enter and it turns it back into a matrix. So I can see the 1005 that says x is 5, 0104 says y is 4, and then 0012 says z is equal to 2. So I have my solution. All right, here's our second example. I have 1 half of x plus 1 third of y plus 1 fifth of z is 26. 1 fourth of x minus a half of y minus a half of z is equal to negative 39. Negative one half of x plus a half of y minus one sixth of z is equal to negative four. Let's call this one b. So I'm going to put b is equal to. I do my brackets to tell us I have a matrix, and then another set of brackets to say my first row. I have one half. Remember, comma in between, one third, and make sure you kind of space up so it knows the fraction is over. One fifth. And then 26, there's our first row. So a comma in between our second list. So now I have 1 fourth, negative 1 half, negative 1 half, and then negative 39. Another comma, another set of brackets. I have negative 1 half, positive 1 half, negative one six, and then lastly negative four. Okay. Now we're ready to push enter. There's our whole matrix. And the next line I start typing reduced. It pops up reduced row echelon form. I replace the word matrix with B, our matrix. I push enter and it says our answers. One zero zero twelve says X is equal to 12. 0, 1, 0, 24 says y is equal to 24, then 0, 0, 160 says z is equal to 60.